Hey, what's up everybody? Alright, so the day's finally here. Today we're going to be checking out the official United States military meal ready to eat, menu number 23, pepperoni pizza. Now this Holy Grail MRE has been in development for a long time. I'm talking like 30 years. It's been made possible by the wonderful food scientist over at Natick Food Labs, who didn't give up on this thing after so many tough complications. One of the main problems that they had was after extended periods of time, the crust would turn a very unattractive brown color. Also, early on, they had mold issues and they had some other things going on. And that's the reasons why we haven't seen MRE pizza until now. All right, let's go ahead and check this thing out. Right here at the bottom, there is a date code. And it's 8176, which is the 176th day of 2018. So this is a very fresh MRE. And it was produced by AmeriQual Packaging, Evansville, Indiana. You can see right there, official U.S. government property. Commercial resale is unlawful. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. I'm going to cut it from the back because I usually don't keep MRE bags, but this one is a little bit different. And I probably will keep this one. go also while i'm taking this out of here i should mention that uh, steve 1989 is the one that actually sent this to me so there will be a link to him up on your screen right now go check him out for sure it's one thing i love about the americwall they uh put everything in a separate bag inside so it's actually double bagged and a lot of times these will be almost vacuum packed All right, so let's see what all came in this. First out, we have some cherry blueberry cobbler. And there's your nutritional facts for the cherry blueberry cobbler. Next up, we have a chocolate protein drink powder. 270 calories in this. Wow, this thing's got 12 grams of protein. They ain't playing around. A hot beverage bag. An oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. Trans fat free. 280 calories in this. We have a package of Italian breadsticks, also trans fat free. We have a flameless ration heater. This is one thing I wondered about whenever I knew that they were going to come out with the pizza, if they would put a FRH in there or not, and uh, they, they actually did. So that's kind of awesome. Brown MRE spoon. We have an accessory packet A. We'll check out what's in here in just a second. Oh, this is absolutely one of my favorites. Cheese spread with jalapenos. And last but definitely not least, we have the pepperoni pizza with cheese and sauce. There's you a close-up of uh, what's going on with the nutritional values. And there's your mile-long ingredients list. Yeah, this thing's got 280 calories. Wow. All right, we'll check out what's in this accessory packet real quick. First up, we have a package of iodized salt. Cinnamon chiclets gum. Four-gram packet of sugar. Coffee Instant Type 2, spray dried. I'm so glad they brought back Type 2. We have our creamer, non-dairy dry. Moist towelette, latex free. <laughs> oh, these are interesting new looking matches. Produced by DD Bean and Sons. A brown package, white tip matches, strike on back. I like the new, the new look. And last but definitely not least, we have our U.S. issue butt ration or napkins. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff thrown out on the tray, and I'll be right back. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and throw the pizza into the flameless ration heater. And you don't have to worry about the cheese melting or anything like that, because they made it with a high heat tolerant mozzarella cheese, which I thought was pretty interesting on the, on their part. I'm a little trouble open. There we go. I always like to pull my elements up and uh, put them right on the item that I'm trying to heat. Try to feel what side the cheese is on. I think it's on this side. So I'm going to try to heat the other side. I'm not going to try to. Hopefully I'm right. You can cut that if you want. And we're also going to throw our cherry blueberry cobbler in there because it does bring out the flavor when you heat this cobbler up. So... 
spray that in there as well. Now, I always keep some salt water on standby, so that's what I'm using because it does make the flameless ration heaters perform better. Hold that over. We'll use our cherry blueberry cobbler sleeve. Slide it over like so. All right, it's already starting to take off there. All right, I'm gonna set that back here on the, my rock or something. And we'll go ahead and make up the drinks. First, we'll start with our coffee. I love the way that smells. I'm a big fan of the Type 2 coffee. And I think you guys are going to dig this cup. Check this out. Is that... Bob Ross on a coffee mug? <laughs> Check it out. The man himself, Mr. Bob Ross. You guys let me know down in the comments what, what you think about this coffee cup. All right, next we'll get our chocolate protein drink powder mixed up. This does have a fill line, so we'll just fill it up to the line. Close it up, fold it over, and give it a really good shake. All right, so if you guys didn't know, uh, Norway was actually the first ones to adopt the pizza into its daily military rations. And I actually got a review of one of those done about two years ago. I was the first one to get one up to on YouTube. You guys go check that video out. There will be a link to that up on your screen right here right now. It's a short video, like eight minutes, posted like... 420 2017 or something but yeah they definitely beat us to the punch by putting the pizza in their ration first so it's kind of interesting that that happened that out in the cup here real quick we'll give our coffee a stir and i'll i've been kind of thinking about it i'll bet you that the u.s or natick or whatever spent more time developing more time and money developing the mre pizza than probably any other single component that's ever went into a ration i mean 30 years is a long time to be working on one thing you know if you can think of something that, that they spent more time and money on let me know down in the comments all right while we're waiting on our pizza to heat up let's check out the rest of this stuff real quick we got our oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie it smells really good I've never had one of these before, so this one will be new to me. Looks really good. Next up, we've got our Italian breadsticks, trans fat free. Kind of look like the wheat snack bread with a, with a bunch of herbs and spices infused into it. And I can smell right off the get-go oregano. I can smell basil, thyme. It smells like... Uh, a lot of the herbs and spices that are in pizza salt. It actually smells really, really nice. So these are also scored, so you can just break them off into little individual sticks. I guess that's why they called them bread sticks. All right, we'll check out our cheese spread with jalapenos. We're going to make a cheese stick on our Italian bread stick. There you go. You can see some chunks of jalapenos in the cheese there. Here's our little cheese dude. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and get our cherry cobbler and our pizza out of here real quick. They've had plenty of time to heat up.
Now this has the tear notches to do it long ways. But since I'm going to be dumping it out on the tray, I'm just going to cut it real quick. It actually smells really, really nice. All right, so if you guys didn't already know, Steve, he actually reviewed this menu right here about five, six months ago. I'll put a link to his video up on the screen right now. Thanks again for sending this MRE to me, Steve. I really appreciate it. But yeah, click that link right up there, guys. Check his video out. Also, before I open this pizza up, I wanted to uh, throw a couple pictures up on the screen right now for you guys and show you the original stock photos that I could find of the MRE pizza and a few others that I've found over the years. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this pizza opened up, made on the 135th day of 2018. All right. Let me smell it. Oh, I smell the pizza sauce. Mmm, it actually smells really good. It smells a lot like pizza. <laughs> there it is. The infamous MRE pizza. Get you a good close-up. There's your high heat tolerance mozzarella cheese. A good little bit of pepperoni on there. I don't see a ton of sauce. I think it's kind of more infused with the crust. The crust looks nice. Now, the Norwegian Arctic pizza that I had before, it was actually bacon soy pizza. And this one right here is the real deal, pepperoni pizza. So I can't wait to get into this. It's uh, very nice and pliable right now. It's nice and soft, as you can see. It's got a lot of flexibility to it. All right, here we go. Down the hatch. Mmm. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised. Mmm. I'll tell you, the flavor just exploded in my mouth. Tons of herbs and spices going on there. The pepperoni's flavor is really pronounced. That's something I was lacking on the other pizza that I had. And this one right here blows that one out of the water by far. I would call this a step up from a microwave pizza. The crust is thick, fluffy, has a really nice flavor to it. It's way better than I expected, honestly. I didn't expect it to be as good as what it is, so... uh Forgive me, I've got to get another bite. Yeah, I'm blown away by this. It really is outstanding. I guess really the main question is, did it live up to all the hype? And from my perspective, absolutely it did. To be able to peel a piece of pizza out of a package like that after it's been sitting there for almost a year, I'd love to see this three, five, ten years down the road. I can't wait until those opportunities come about and we can uh, check on the science of this and see how well it's holding up to the test of time. But as of right now, I am definitely impressed with the MRE pepperoni pizza. The pepperonis have a really nice flavor. The crust is nice and fluffy. The sauce obviously is there because the flavor's there. It's just not a liquidy substance on top like, you know, you'd be used to on a piece of pizza. But as bad as I hate to, I'm going to move on to a different item. And we're going to check out the Italian breadsticks with jalapeno cheese spread. And these just look amazing. Give this a try. Wow, I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed. I don't remember the jalapeno cheese spread having as much heat as this has. The Italian breadsticks are kind of sweet. They've definitely got a lot of that basil and oregano and parsley flavor. These things right here are uh, 10 steps above a wheat snack bread, in my opinion. Much, much better. I didn't try one on its own, and I want to do that. Check out that cross-section with the herbs and spices injected in there. Really nice. Yeah, they got a little bit of a sweetness to them, and they're just filled with flavor. They're really, really nice. Compared to a lot of the bread products that they put into MREs, these things are a step above. And with the jalapeno cheese spread on top, I mean, you can't do much better than that. The jalapeno cheese spread is fantastic. While I'm thinking about it, I want to try a little bit of the jalapeno cheese on the pizza right here on the corner. This cheese has actually got a good little bit of heat to it, which is not how it usually is. Usually it's quite mild. It does have a good bit of heat this time. <laughs> you guys can't see me, but I'm... I'm doing a little bit of a dance over here, man. That I didn't think that pizza could get any better, but with the jalapeno cheese on top, it added some heat, but it also had it added a creamy, um, like a liquidy texture that it was missing, plus that added cheese flavor. Mm. So I'm going to try out this chocolate protein drink. Let's see how it is. 
I would call that milk chocolatey. It's thick. It's rich. It's creamy. I have a feeling that's going to go really well with our cookie over here. I want to try the Type 2 coffee before I get into the cobbler real quick and see how it is. Oh, that is just smooth, robust, very flavorful. It doesn't have that burnt or sour or any of those weird flavors that come through in some of the other instant coffees. The Type 2 is one of the better coffees that I've ever had out of any of the U.S. rations. All right, so I want to try this cobbler out while it's still warm and get some of that bread in there. Also a cherry. Looks really good, doesn't it? That's a really nice mild dessert. It's not overpowering with the whole lot of sweetness that's just kind of drowning out all the flavor. It's got all kinds of natural fruit flavor. That syrup's kind of sweet, but the cherries are really nice, and that breading gives it a nice creamy texture, and you get that breading flavor. Mmm. All right, so that leaves me with the oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie back here. Wow, look at that. Talk about some chocolate chunks. Those are big old chocolate pieces. So I'm going to give this a try by itself. Well, that's a really good cookie. It's got a lot of roughage to it, like you uh, would expect with an oatmeal cookie. But in my experience and other oatmeal cookies that I've had, they were just more like a standard you know, chocolate chip cookie or something with that sort of texture. This feels like you're chewing a whole lot of individual oats, like it's roughage, which in my opinion is what I look for in a cookie like that. You can see that there's a whole bunch of oats in there. And the flavor, it's not overly sweet like you would think it is. I kind of assumed this was going to be very, very sweet. The chocolate isn't overly sweet. I would call it a very mild chocolate. I think this is going to go really well with the chocolate drink. I'm going to try them together right now. Yeah. That's really tasty either way. Chocolate protein drink doesn't do a whole lot for the flavor of it, but it does soften it up some. Kind of reminds you of being at home and dunking your cookies in your milk or something like that, which is pretty nice. Now, I want to try it in the hot coffee also and see how it fares in the hot coffee. Well, that was kind of a surprise. I didn't expect the coffee to do much for that cookie, but the cookie picked up the flavor of the coffee a lot, so it added a nice coffee flavor in there. That was fantastic. But yeah, like I said earlier, it did. It lived up to the hype. The pepperoni pizza, they knocked it out of the park. They did a very good job. I think they spent a lot of time on it, but I think it finally paid off in the end. They, they have a really good product here. And I think it's probably going to be around for a long time. And if you were out in the field craving pizza and you had one of these right here, it would definitely hit the spot. Also earlier I said I can't wait to see what this thing is going to look like 3, 5, 10 years down the road. It will be really interesting to see scientifically what happens to these things 10 years down the road. This has been a great opportunity and a great experience. And I want to say a huge thanks to Steve1989 again for sending this thing to me. Dude, I really do appreciate it, man. Also, my first pizza review that I had up was thanks to Shocker71. You guys go check out his channel if you want. Links to both those dudes are going to be down in the description, and I'm also going to make one down in the comments, so you guys go check them out. Now, I also want to thank each and every one of you guys for taking the time out of your day to come over here and check out my pizza video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to do that. Then that brings me to thanking my patrons. There will already be a list of them up on your screen right now. I really appreciate everyone who donates over there on Patreon. There will be a link to that at the end of each video if you guys want to go check that out. But alright guys, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time I put a new video out. But alright, I guess that brings me to the part of the video where I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next ration review. Later.